wonderful centre in Meknes. No, it's really exciting. I mean, it's post-COVID. It's our first uh, arts tour of Morocco. And we've chosen to bring a remarkable young poet from the UK in Raymond Antrobus. Um, he's been described as one of the most important young poets uh, of our generation. Uh, I have worked with him previously, five years ago in Morocco, in uh, Kenya. Um, but since then, he's won poetry prizes and many, many accolades. As you know, he is also a deaf poet, and that makes him very interesting. Um, so we have a literature tour. We are, and it's, it's got two aspects. One is because his work describes his own experience as a deaf young man growing up, the challenges, um, how he felt, the, the, the difficulties with communication, with education, and with inclusion. And, and he's a real champion uh, of, of uh, the deaf communities in the UK. He does a lot of work at deaf centers, and uh, he talks and writes about this. So half of our tour is, is visiting um, centers for deaf young people. We were in Fez yesterday at the Al-Fatah Center, and today at the Lala Asma uh, Foundation in Rabat. So half of it is about Raymond engaging with young people who are also deaf and, and being a real source of inspiration, a real model for them of what is possible. Um, but the other half is that Raymond is also a poet. It doesn't matter whether he is deaf or not. His work has won the Ted Hughes Poetry Award and other awards because it's amazing poetry. Um, so the second half of the tour um, is in Marrakesh tomorrow and he is um, going to read his poetry and engage with students from the Faculty of Letters at Kari Ayad and they're very excited about engaging with him and asking him about his work and then we're doing a public event in Marrakesh tomorrow evening uh, at the World Storytelling Cafe which is a great new venue uh, in the Medina uh, in Marrakesh, and we're hoping that the public will come. And Raymond is going to read with uh, a very well-known Moroccan poet, Hafsa, um, I've forgotten her surname. Um, and they're going to read together and then discuss each other's work um, as poets, not as a deaf poet, but just simply as a poet. So we're, we're incredibly excited. Um, he's a very special writer. And uh, so far, the visit has been um, quite emotional, um, but really important in terms of social inclusion and uh, providing a model for uh, young uh, hearing impaired people in Morocco and giving them a real sense of, of possibility that there's no limit to what they can do.